And now, we've gotten to the Belmont City Council meeting. Okay, Terry, would you like to call the roll? Sure. Councilmember Bronstein? Here. Wozniak? Here. Lieberman? Here. Warden? Here. Firebach? Here. Special presentations? There are I none. Think we have a report from closed session. Oh, okay, thank you. Gee, all of you could be mayor all at the same time. Right. <laughs> um, uh, is there a report from closed session? Anything? Nothing to, no, uh, no action to report. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Warren. <laughs> um, the special presentation, public comments. I'm sure there are some. Yes, I uh, actually have uh, six slips for public comment. So first is uh, Jorge Jaramillo. Hello. Hey, Jorge. That'll be followed by Kathleen Beasley. Good evening, Madam uh, Mayor and Council Members. I'm here to um, follow up on an invitation uh, to the County uh, Diversity Celebration Awards, and we have all the cities in San Mateo County attending, and we would love to have the participation of the City of Belmont. So any Council Members who wish to attend, uh, please uh, contact me, and uh, I talk to some of you personally, and I would love to have you present. Thank you. Would you like to give the phone number of how to contact you, or user have an email? Does anyone know how to contact you? Yes, I, I provide all the information okay. to the city clerk with all the details, and the information is right there in front of you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, you, you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Kathleen. Yeah. Kathleen Beasley. That'll be followed by um, Paula Moorhead. Good evening. Once again, it is my privilege to present the San Mateo County Library annual report for the 2010-2011 fiscal year and I'd like to highlight some of what was accomplished at our Belmont branch. 339,889 people visited the library, 518,224 books, music CDs, DVDs, and audiobooks were checked out, and 23,152 people attended our programs. Highlights from last year's adult programs included a visit from National Medal of Honor recipient, Joyce Carol Oates, and a concert from Best Latina Jazz Vocalist of 2010, Kat Para. Our computer classes for adults filled our Oracle computer classroom every Wednesday morning. Belmont Library was fortunate to be able to hire two talented librarians last year. Our teen services librarian, Dolly Goyle, produced well-attended after-school programs that included crafts, gaming, movies, music, SAT reviews, college essay advice, resume writing, open mic nights, study halls. Children's services librarian, Ellie Anderson, produced story times for babies through preschoolers Monday through Friday. In addition, LA con connected with many local elementary schools, giving well-received presentations in the library and at many different school sites. We began a partnership with Belmont Parks and Recreation Department last year that included having monthly family movies at the library. During August, Parks and Recreation hosts movies in the park, and during all other months, we bring the program indoors to the library's state-of-the-art projection equipment. We've begun hosting introductory presentations of 10-week parks and recreation classes, allowing the community to get an idea of what they're like at no cost, and then make educated decisions about whether or not to sign up for the quarterly classes with their nominal fees. We've just begun a partnership uh, serving teens, and I'm sure I'll have many more successful stories to share about that uh, collaboration next year at this time. The Belmont Library gratefully acknowledges the friends of the Belmont Library and our library volunteers whose efforts contribute so much to the vibrant library and help to ensure that all Belmont residents have access to free lifelong education and cultural opportunities. One of our patrons recently honored us by describing us as the living library of learning, a lovely tribute to our mission. So I speak for the whole library staff when I thank each of you, Mayor Feierbach and members of the City Council for your continued support of the library. We're committed to serving our residents during the coming fiscal year with dedication and enthusiasm. So thank you so much for your attention. I look forward to seeing you at the library and especially tomorrow night for the candidates debate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. Okay, Paula Moorhead followed by Giovanni Dorso. Hello. Good evening. Um, on behalf of our introduction uh, to arts management class at Notre Dame, um, we wanted to, I wanted to invite you rather, uh, 
as city council and the rest of the Belmont community to come see our production of The Three Sisters by Anton Chekhov. That's adapted by David Mamet, and it's um, presented by our Department of Theater and Dance. Um, just a little background on The Three Sisters. Uh, it's an, an emotionally pignant, poignant story, sorry, of three sisters who attempt to carve out a meaningful existence in their small garrison town. Their tedious surroundings are revealed by only one procession of officers, lovers, suitors, and husbands, and by the ever-present dream of returning to Moscow. Um, the performances uh, of the three sisters are free to NDNU students, faculty, and staff, and are presented um, in the theater next to the field. Um, general admission is $10, and the time of this is 7.30 on October uh, 14th, 15th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, and then Sunday, October 23rd, there's a showing at 2 p.m. And if you'd like to fill out any ticket request forms, I have them, or you can call the theater box office at 650-508-3456. And uh, former Mayor George uh, Metropolis is one of the actors in the play, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, some of us are going on Friday night. That'd be great. So, okay, we'll thank see you. you then. All right, thank you. Okay, Giovanni Durso, followed by Stephanie Beal. Hi. Good evening, Mayor and Council Members. My name is Giovanni Durso, and I'm a freshman at NDNU and the founder and president of our campus's first debate team. Uh, we plan to establish a network of students and professors on campus to work together to better their public speaking and research skills. We benefit uh, the school and also the town by having a university in the city of Belmont nationally recognized uh, for a college level debate. To participate in our future endeavors, we'd like to ask uh, for community support for our debate team, such as uh, the citizens of Belmont uh, participating with uh, the knowledge that they might have um, with a college level debate and also funding. Uh, you might imagine that uh, universities uh, right now are really tight on their budgets, and it would really benefit us if we have some uh, local funding, because the more we can get from outside sources from the community, uh, the more we can ask uh, from the university to show that we're a sustainable uh, club on campus. And um, we'd really like a large network of support from uh, the city. May I yield the rest of my time to questions and comments? Sure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. It sounds like a great, great idea. Thank you. Thank you. And, and when, when are these debates taking place? Uh, the debate team just had their first meeting last week, and uh, we had a great turnout of 17 students to show up and two professors. And we plan to have our next meeting October 20th, and the location on campus will, uh, will be announced. It's to be announced. And I left my uh, contact information on my sheet. So you'll let us know when the first debate, will it be open to the public? Uh, each debate is open to the public, uh, but the location of the debate is to be announced. Okay, and thanks. the next uh, meeting will be October 20th. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. okay. Stephanie Beal, followed by George Burgess. Hello. Good evening, Madam Mayor and City Council members. I'm simply here tonight to provide you with updates, as promised a couple weeks ago, on the on behalf of the Associated Students of NDNU. Um, I have a couple of announcements for you. First off, I just want to thank you guys for your support at Save the Music Festival. I saw a couple of you guys out there, and a group of us from the Senate volunteered there a couple weeks ago, and we had a blast with the kids. Um, secondly, our Voices to Vote Day is all set for next week. That will be Thursday, October 20th, starting with the voter registration barbecue at 12 p.m. in the NDNU quad. Um, our city clerk, Terry Cook, is going to be in attendance assisting with the registration forms and then delivering them to the county for us. And we thank her for that in advance and invite you all to attend as well. Uh, that night also we invite you along with the entirety of the Belmont community to attend our ASNDNU Phi Alpha Delta City Council Candidates Forum. Um, this again is Thursday, October 20th at 7 p.m. in the Ralston Hall Ballroom on NDNU's campus, um, beginning at 7 with refreshments and the forum to begin at 7.30 p.m. Um, 
The forum will start with introductions by the candidates on their platforms, followed by a question answer session with the forum mediator, and then move on to audience question answer session at the end. Uh, details about the specifics of the format will be emailed to the candidates later this week. Um, and then we will also be posting flyers around the city, hoping that numerous Belmont residents will be in attendance as well. With that, I thank you for your time, and we hope to see you next Thursday. Thank you. And you have several of these copies right there at the desk? There are there are several at the back, and I also emailed the PDF version for Terry to distribute as well. Okay. Can you, yeah, send one to me too also. Perfect. I will. Yeah, I'll put it in my, my website. Thank you. Thank you. you. Okay. Okay. George Burgess. Hi, George. Good evening, Mayor and Council Members. I'm a resident of Belmont. But I'm here tonight as a representative of the Chamber of Commerce. As uh, Kathleen indicated, tomorrow night, 6.30, library, Toby Room. Uh, three of you will be present you know, along with the other candidates uh, <coughs> for election. Uh, we think that uh, uh, this particular election is very important because the general plan will be uh, revised during your period, as well as the uh, uh, the villages. Essentially, the design was going, should be settled in that period of time also. So we urge everyone to attend and ask the questions, because I think there are some differences of opinion there. The second announcement I have is that uh, in conjunction with the uh, School of Business Management in Notre Dame, Data Moore, uh, we are again sponsoring their lecture series of distinguished uh, speakers. The first one is going to be on the, uh, pardon me here, on the 19th, I believe it is, uh, with the uh, Bon Appetit Management Company, uh, represented by uh, the number of their chief executives who will explain how they have changed the contract catering business by having fresh uh, food developed from scratch for presentation in, in business. It's a business model, a uh, new business model in the uh, catering business. So it's the first of the series. It starts at uh, 6.30 with refreshments, 7 o'clock at the uh, lecture will start. Thank you. Thank you, George. Okay, that's, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Are there any comments or announcements from? I have a couple. Okay. Okay. Um, first, I, I'd like to remind everybody that this that October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, also remind everybody that although it primarily is a disease that strikes women, men are also um, uh, can also be victims. So. Um, there's some interesting uh, programs now about, um, and I won't go into them because they might not be appropriate for a, um, for a council meeting, but just suffice it to say that you should, if you're a woman, please take care of yourself, be healthy, and, and go to your doctor regularly and make sure that you, um, you monitor um, the situation there. Um, I, I have a personal interest in this. Three of my, um, my mother and both of her sisters have died of breast cancer, and my mom's birthday happens to be October 14th, so I always remember her at this time. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say, um, we, we had a really great opening of Sun Edison the other day, and it was, um, it was uh, just a great, great moment for Belmont. Uh, Sun Edison is coming to Belmont. It's here. There are people in Belmont that work at Sun, Sun Edison. Uh, there are about 60 employees. They're going to grow to about 400. Uh, it's, a great, um, it's a great thing for Belmont. You can see the logo as you go down 101. That, and that's, that's another thing. Um, Oh, and we, we all went to save, uh, most of us went to save the music, and that was a great, um, a great event. I think all of us were there, actually, all the, the whole council and, and Terry was there. And it was a great time, and I wanted to say to Kathleen that I really enjoyed the bookmobile. Didn't real, I, I really didn't realize that we had a bookmobile. I should have known. And I liked, I enjoyed making a puppet, <laughs> a bag puppet, and you're, you had a lot, lot of uh, nice takeaways there, and the kids were really enjoying that. I had to kind of go out of the way because there was a line forming for that. So um, that was really nice. And there were a lot of other good um, events at, the, at Save the Music that everybody um, enjoyed, I'm sure. So thanks. That's all I have to say. Anybody else have any comments? I got one. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to recognize that uh, this past Sunday uh, was the first game over at uh, Corret Field. Mm -hmm. um, the Belmont United Titans played the, uh, the West Valley team from San Jose. So first of all, uh, a very big thank you to NDNU for all its uh, uh, gracious uh, 
efforts to allow the city, citizens of Belmont to use the field. It, it's a wonderful thing. I was there with two of the other council members, uh, the mayor and uh, the vice mayor, and uh, we got to enjoy the game. Um, uh, you know, it, we know it's not all about winning or losing, but in this case, the uh, Belmont team did prevail five to two, so it, it was a very happy day for the uh, the kids and um, and and the, uh, the the parents as well. So uh, this was the Belmont United Titans, I believe it was the under 15 group, um, and so we're we're looking forward to this being, I hope, uh, the first of, of very many games um, on Corret Field. Uh, Tom Snyder not only worked hard to make this happen, but he happened to be the coach of the Belmont United Titans for the first game as well. So maybe uh, it was very fitting. But again, um, just wanted to wish all of the uh, uh, the kids in both AYSO and Belmont United uh, a lot of success during the seasons. And, and again, just a very big uh, thank you to uh, all the students, faculty, staff at NDNU for um, for 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 what they've done to uh, make the city a better place. Thank you. Yeah, it was kind of fun. I got to learn a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, sh I should mention that uh, one of the things that Tom told us was that they used lower decibel whistles. Yeah. The referees were using lower decibel whistles. Um, as near as I can tell, there were about you know, 20, 30 parents, but uh, the level of uh, noise uh, was, 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 was minimal, there was no use of air horns or anything really uh, amplified. So uh, yeah. we think it was a very successful event uh, all around. And all they need is something for people to see when these things are happening. Mm. There's nothing there yet, yep. but that'll be another thing in the future. Okay, um, as far as I'm concerned, everybody made announcements so I don't have to make any. <laughs> <laughs> Except the bike bridge river cutting. It will be held on Saturday, November 19th. Everybody mark it down, the bike bridge. Bridge over 101, 9.30, November 19th, Saturday. That's a biggie. You can also walk on it. It's a pedestrian. Yeah, you can walk. Mm -hmm. you can. Come, with, come with your bikes. Yeah, you come can Come with ride. your bikes. Yeah. I'll be there with my bike. I'll be there with my grandchildren's bike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so this is, that's, a big, that's a big thing. That's going to be all sorts of fun. Again, Saturday, November 19th, 9.30 a.m. Okay. All right. And I got to meet Governor Brown yesterday. And I got to take a picture with myself and Governor Brown. So that was fun. And you got to give him a dig about the redevelopment agency. And I got to say something about the redevelopment agency. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Anything else? No? So. Nothing? Agenda amendments. Are there? There's none, right? 